Hello guys and welcome back. We are about ready to get started here with round number three here for the Battle Arena scrims. And uh, looks like uh, we do have 22 teams in fact here. So the first time here, um, well at least uh, since I started uh, covering this. So we do have BAE coming in in uh, squad 22 guys and uh, the rest of uh, the teams here uh, we do have a little bit of changes I think uh, team number 11 is now awful squad so you can be getting in on some of the action from there so now we will be looking at this plane coming all the way from the military island going all the way up to the top of the map at the moment so now we see quite a number of teams actually opting to drop really early here uh, a couple of teams going for the ferry pier section this is going to be uh, awful squad as well as the Strive Gaming fellows here and looks like uh, Bamcop and the rest of Zook Nightmare will be dropping here into the military base. They do actually have uh, Mixed Team 10 here dropping as well and looks as though that they're going to be joined together with uh, Team UGM at the moment. So it looks like Siupak Choi and Gen Genks going all the way to Primorsk here. And it looks like uh, Team 20 Padu Madu is going to be going for the farm region here uncontested and it looks like uh, right here in the center gonna have uh, team FFG and squad 13 here this is gonna be ONE Esports so Rosox gonna have Red Sea their usual spot is gonna be invaded very much so by uh, the rest of uh, uh, team ONE here if not mistaken so uh, looking at how things are shaping up there is quite a great good spread here but wow MX518 already knocks himself out so uh, well done and um, looking at how things are shaping up, the circle has shifted all the way central, but onto the eastern side over here. So it covers a number of the teams, but maybe not most of them. But all the way in Severny, we see Team uh, uh, MSK here. It's going to be shared together with uh, Six Gaming for the time being. But it looks like here, west of the military island here, we got Esco Rex here for the mixed team 10 here gonna try and put some hurt onto the team members from UGM and currently UGM currently all united here but maybe won't have enough uh, in the way of loot here to try and prevent uh, too much damage from coming their way but Esco Rex does take a few hits there for the time being and it looks like Severny is absolutely crowded here it's got three teams it's also got horny uncles here um, together with uh, six gaming as well as MSK Poseidon but it looks as though that uh, Bonlicious here and the rest of his squad are going to try and uh, finish off the rest of 6 Gaming here. Currently they are in a little bit of uh, of a tight spot here. Missionary and Cold Blood here also in that zone. But looks like Rozok here has Red Sea going at it. Uh, oh sorry, it's Team 50-50 here. As uh, they are trading a lot of blows here. Vine is dead. Salka is down. And looks like uh, Red Sea... Also taking some casualties as well. Currently, Hahogus, which is a little bit of life here, but Vine is going to expire here. And currently, 50-50 only have Winter on the high ground here for the time being. So that's going to be interesting. But it looks like Missionary here, back in Severny here, is going to knock down Frost, Frost Bell. And uh, now, ooh, looks like uh, Cold Blood going to catch out Uncle Asmi here with a shotgun as he tries to get around this building at the moment as we're currently there are two players here from six gaming and it looks like foxtrot and bonlicious here gonna still try and buy their time it looks like cold blood gets caught out by chrysania here and bonlicious gonna knock down a6 so now chrysania is advancing onto this position but currently missionary is around here he's in the second story for the time being but cold blood is going to go down here after the akm shots are going to come through and uh looking at how the rest of things are developing here we have in school it's going to be team gift esports and loboka we're going to have team jesus and uh we do have uh team fg fjg here and it looks like winter under a lot of pressure here 14 50 50 from red sea currently pokoyo putting up a lot of hits but he takes a lot himself and he's almost dead so he has to get that heal off asap but now winter under a lot of pressure now hahagus getting some shots in pokoyo's come out and it looks like that's going to be it the uh, out in 22nd place is going to be team 50 50 but wow looking at how things are developing it's a here looks like uh Team 6 Gaming here in a lot of trouble as uh, now they have to face off with uh, 
or they faced off with MSK pushing in here. Now MSK going to try and see what they can do to finish off the rest of Horny Uncles. Currently only Bonilicious here and Foxtrot currently trying to occupy that northern building here and prevent further pushing from coming. DJ Lowe's just going to try and watch out here. Crescenia actually went down for MSK as after he was the player furthest forward here. And it looks like Foxtrot will be getting down here as he looks to try and get into a better position at the moment. It looks like Josh is going to push in here. Azora here also on the the western side for the time being and but now Foxtrot is going to try and do his best to try and to survive the situation he's going to go all the way around Bonnilish is going to get Josh here and now it looks like Azora going to be able to prevent the flank here from Foxtrot but Bonnilish is going to come around and finish off two of the MSK players here so looks like only DJ Lowell here trying to hang out for it he's going to try and uh um, see whether or not he can prevent the rest from coming out and he's able to finish off uh, Horny Uncles there. So quite a bit of carnage there in Severni as two teams got eliminated there and we are down to 19 teams uh, in total. And now the blue zone is going to start moving in in just a minute here. So that's going to further put a, a little bit of strain onto these teams as uh, now we will see that Awful Squad has probably got the furthest to go here currently all the way here but uh, currently, we see that uh, Zook Nightmare occupying uh, military base for the time being. And that could be a little bit intriguing to see how that part will uh, turn out. And uh, now looking at how the rest of uh, this is going to be going here, we do see that uh, in Yasnaya, it does have a uh, Team Quacker here currently occupying the northern side. Looks like Frozen gets knocked down and he's facing off against uh, Team ONE at the moment. Currently, there is going to be a little bit of distance. Skyrex is just going to try and get some good vision on the area here as he tries to advance the prevent the advancement coming from iCry Sim. Douyu is coming around the eastern or the western side and uh, looks like Legendary 6 k are going to try and get in the hill but Aplux is going to try and move all across the field here as he tries to spread the field a little bit and getting up a little bit of a better angle here onto Willix but currently it is going to be okay for the time being here as now we will be looking to see how the this is going to shape out. Now they do have time here. They don't actually have to move too quickly in Yasnaya, but it's something that they probably still want to do here. Now, Stadium Fighter currently on your screen here, uh, currently occupying these central regions for the time being, and uh, they're going to try and prevent further advancement, but it looks as though Batman is under fire here for Team BAE as uh, he's trying to move in, but now things are heating up in Yasnaya. We already see the Team Quacker in uh, quite a bit of trouble at the moment as uh, two of their players are down. Currently, Uplux and Willix here going to try and move around, but looks like Legendary 6 and Uplux going to come up big here. They get two kills there. It uh, looks like Doyu and uh, Mike Chrysim here are going to try and do what they can, but Doyu goes down after taking some hits from uh, Legendary 6 here, but he does manage to confirm the kills onto... Uh, uh, Fors in there as now Doyu only has Icry Sim here left to try and help him out for the time being so Icry Sim just going to bide his time for the time being but elsewhere we already see that UGM in quite a big fight here with uh, Strive Gaming. Strive Gaming able to to knock down uh, two of the players and uh, eliminate one of them already as uh, currently the other two players for UGM are currently across the road here hiding behind that one truck and a little bit of a ridge there and looks like uh, Manju Manju has got a little bit of a problem there trying to get back up onto the high ground and uh, now it looks like Balala is going to just keep putting that pressure onto them. Now the blue zone is moving in, guys. And DJ Lol is currently all the way in Zaverni. He's going to have to move over here. Now no one's actually deciding to go for a bridge camp. But it looks like the center part of the map here is getting really congested really quickly, guys. As they all trying to push in. And it looks like Legendary 6 is going to be able to finish off I Cry Sim here for Team Cracker. So that's going to be it. And... Uh, Team ONE going out in 19th position. And now looks like the rotation coming in here from FGJ. FJG, sorry. It's taking a lot of fire from 101 Air at the moment here. But, ooh, looks like uh, Awful Squad had a little bit of a bike mishap here. As now we will be seeing that uh, things are heating up over here as uh, the rest of GIF Esport here trying to fend off Stadium Fighter as Udin uh, is trying to fend off this push here. But looks like Pear Pie going to come across here and actually finish off Udin. So it looks like Stadium Fighter taking two losses there as uh, they try to... Well, actually, I'm not sure they actually have any players left alive. I don't think that they do. Maybe they... I think uh, 
Yes, Kahaya is still alive here for Stadium Fighter. But now 101 error is going to try and put some fire this time towards the uh, Red Sea. And currently BAE has uh, taken up a spot there uh, just a little bit towards the northern side. As uh, now we will be seeing um, Hahogus deciding to bug out towards the western side here after taking a little bit of fire here from 101 error. So 101 error has quite a decent position here as they are able to put up a lot of uh, fire onto the surrounding areas. All these teams all banking on getting into the center part of this first circle here as they do want to try and get ahead of phase number two as it's going to progress so now so now we already see that the the team members over here for Giff esports still occupying this spot here going to put pressure onto kahaya and that's going to be it for stadium fighter they go out in 17th position here but they do have the presence there from FJG, uh, currently uh, squad number 8 on your screen. And Hahagus also setting up a place there while he tries to find a, a good place for the rest of Red Sea to go to at the moment. As uh, we see that uh, awful squad back up here after uh, facing that little mishap there on the bike. But Pokoyo getting caught out here by Zook Nightmare. And currently looks like they're able to pick up that first kill through Arrow. And uh, Red Sea not in a... The best of spots here after they only have uh, a few. They only have two players left actually. And uh, now we will be seeing that uh, Team Crayon here occupying this uh, slightly northwestern part of the circle at the moment. And a lot of teams always tend to congregate like right in the center of the circle. Technically you could opt for some of the other areas inside the zone. You can time your or make sure you have the mobility to time your rotation for phase number two very well because this could still shift anywhere and a lot of teams are actually risking a lot of their their players and utility trying to go through these zones at the moment which uh, it's not even certain that it's actually going to be in these places and we already see team uh, Jesus here also opting to take a central position currently not in uh, in a hard cover position for the time being as uh, now we will be seeing that the next circle is going to be revealing itself and uh, looks like uh, I'm going to eat my words a little bit as it is a little bit central here. And uh, a lot of these teams are going to uh, benefit from that. But BAE deciding to go for even a more central position here. But uh, they do have uh, four vehicles at their disposal. So they do hedge some of the risk that they have in their rotation. But they are facing fire from two different squads. Loki's taking a hit there. Uh, but for the most part, they are quite far away. But it looks like Badman here. Oh, going to get his Dacia back up in the nick of time there. So otherwise, he would have been in a really tough spot there and uh, BAE still continues to have four players up but things are super heated up here as we see that there are four teams here and currently there are two of them inside the shelter area so let's have a look and see how their their positions are as we do see that uh, two of the players here for um, FJG here currently alive here after they were able to catch out one of the players uh, coming to the lower tunnels here from Team Jesus. So Team Jesus, come on man, I believe in you guys. So uh, now we will see Red Sea here starting to bug out here after um, I think uh, Papa Zayat went down here. I'm um, not sure who was able to get the knock there, but uh, looking at how things are, things are quite quite crowded actually. I'm surprised these guys don't get a little bit claustrophobic from all the uh, close contact here, but now it looks like Esco Rex here for hit mixed team 10 currently uh, occupying the barn all by himself It looks like the rest of his team are coming in to, to back him up for the time being But currently they're all in the southern region here They're trying to find a good opportunity to get in but it looks like Esco Rex gonna get a couple of kills there After he's able to surprise the Padumadu players after they tried to clear him out, but now the rest of uh his squad are going to advance here and looks like Meow, Eri and uh, Anna are going to have their work cut out for him. But it looks like they take out Kai and KNY God here. But the smoke is forthcoming from uh, Esco Rex as KNY God going to try and get in a little bit. But the nade is good and they finish off uh, KNY God. And looks like Kai with just a little bit more health. Sophia are going to try and push around the side here. But another nade is coming through. But I don't think that it's going to be... Oh! It's able to catch Kai from that angle. I thought maybe the the slightly lower ground would have saved him a little bit. But Sophia are going to try and prevent this push coming in here. And takes down Anna. But Meow is going to be right behind it. And uh, that's going to be it. Leaving Esco Esco Rex all by himself. Uh, Esco Rex is going to finish it here for Mixed Team 10. So looking to lead the way with the three kills, but he is the last team member remaining here.
And uh, now looking at how things are developing here, we will be seeing that uh, other players are coming in uh, from this position. And uh, looks like uh, most of the teams have settled down a little bit. We've already uh, down to 45 players here, considering we had 22 teams. And I mean, this is only the second zone, guys. I mean, um, a lot of teams just trying to really take up that dominant position here. Now, something which I don't really see as much here in the Battle Arena scrims is a lot of teams deciding to play more on the edge of the circle. Now, it is a viable strategy. Admittedly, you, it is maybe a bit more um, skill intensive there and make sure that you have good squad cohesion. But it can actually work and for those times which maybe you don't get the fast rotation maybe when you drop you actually drop into an area which is contested and you can't disengage too quickly and follow through on your game plan to actually try and rotate early unless you make it a point to actually get vehicles but then, then generally you won't be stuck in too many fights here so um that's going to be something which uh, we're seeing FFG already doing this here. They're just staying on the eastern edge, or the western edge actually, sorry. Uh, so they try and wait and see how this next circle is going to shape up. And looking at things, it has shifted a little bit down to the south side. So it's still catching a lot of these teams. But now, 101 era probably will have to make a move here pretty soon. As uh, there's still quite a few compounds onto this uh, south uh, eastern side of this circle at the moment here which actually these teams can move into which uh, should offer some opportunity here for things to actually happen a little bit further so now looking at how the rest of this is going to be developing we will uh, see a lot of teams in rotation we already see ffg here um currently trying to move their way over here But uh, now we already see that uh, DJ Low also getting in the mix there for MSK as well as he tries to get through a little bit and uh, going to be in a little bit of a, a tussle here with the rest of uh, these other teams as we see that uh, looks as though that Zook Nightmare here advancing onto this position occupied by BAE and we're going to be in for a tussle here. Bamcop going to confirm the kill onto Shooter Ziang here. Lokis and Badman currently using the smoke for the little bit of cover that they have available to them. And uh, it looks as though that uh, Twitch TM4 here going down here after Jang's able to catch him out after he was trying to go in for a big flank there. But Bamcop going to fall down back a bit here. But Loki's taking a hit here from uh, FFG it would seem here after he, they're being pushed from the western side. But there's only going to be two players left here for a Zook Nightmare for the time being. And things will see... Uh, I think Batman should be able to get Loki's up but now BAE is reduced down to two players. Uh, they are stuck inside the hut there. So one good nade from Bamcop could actually finish this as uh, he would still need to, to shoot open the door there uh, to actually make it work. So he's just expecting BAE to be kind of around the building here, but they've got no choice. They actually had to move inside there for the time being. But now looks like Bamcop going to land some shots on... on um, Onto FFG now after he's putting up some long range shots, but looks like Hahagus in trouble after um, Rain Zera encounters him uh, in the center part of the circle for the time being. As uh, now looks as though that uh, this 2 2 split that's going on here is still working for the time being for uh, Zook Nightmare here, but Bamcop might get caught out here if he's not careful. He's taking on FFG as well as uh, BAE, only takes one knock to actually get into a bad position here now. You might get more grenades there to actually use onto that position for the time being. But now looking at how the rest of it is going to be playing out here, uh, we will be seeing still quite a number of teams here still in the shelter area. So uh, not going to go in there just yet, guys, as there are still four members there from FJG here. And there are two members from Team Jesus for the win. You go, guys. I have faith in you. So that's why I don't need to see what might happen there. <laughs> but yes, uh, in the northern side, it is going to be Giff Esports still occupying this uh, compound for the time being here. And uh, putting up some long range shots. I'm not sure that they can actually see anyone. Papa Zayat is currently on the high ground, if, I think, or the far, or just at the tunnel entrance for the time being. But now they are putting up some. F shots uh, a bit randomly towards BAE but I don't think that anything is really going to be connecting too badly here and uh, now we will be seeing uh, others uh, Ooh, now the circle has shifted and it's, uh, it's still quite central actually so it looks like uh, it's going to be uh, Zook Nightmare here the bigger winners here after they have uh, a 2-2 split going on here that so this is going to 
exert a lot of uh, pressure onto teams who want to come into the zone. Now, they might not be too far away from each other that they can potentially cover each other if there is advancement here, given the positions that you see here in these compounds. But they do have to be mindful that they can't take too many hits, especially Jenks and Bamcop. After, if they get knocked down, they actually do have to put down all lanes of fire and actually spend the time to go over to another building here. But for the time being, they're just going to try and get as much vision as they can from those two buildings. But now looking at this, FFG is moving inside the circle for the time being here as they try and find a good spot. But now looks as though that uh, this movement here is not going to go unnoticed. But there's not too much that Zoom Nightmare can do. There is a lot of natural terrain cover here for this uh, path that is being taken. And looks like FFG just going to park themselves into the southern region of the circle. Esco Rex going to put up some shots on towards 518, but not able to connect enough with them uh, to carry the light forward here for Mixed Team 10. Um, but he's still alive here, so he's got every possibility. And uh, But the farm complex is quite big here. Another team could just push in here, and that might be it there. So now Shelter is going to be uh, just on the northern edge for the time being here. So it might actually be a little bit more difficult for things to, to develop a little bit further. But now looks as so though that 101 error here uh, occupying a new compound. And they're trying to put on more pressure here. But they do have uh, BAE to worry about. And currently Badman and uh, Loki's onto that high ground at the moment. And it looks like the rest of... Uh, these uh, 101 error players here are going to try and advance. Badman still using that, uh, that hard cover, but the vehicles are being blown up left, right, and center. Loki's uh, trying to dodge some fire here, but Badman able to come out and cover him, finishing off Knoxville. Now Ray, Ray ZGG and Best Get Wrecked here are going to also try and do their best, but Casual Elitist moving around the side here. But now it looks like uh, Quacker might have some shots on this direction. And Casual Elite is going to knock down Batman here. And looks like uh, that's going to be it as uh, there's a little bit of a third party action there as Loki's is finished off by FFG. FFG with a really long range shot there. So that's uh, some 500, 500, 600 meters there. So that's a really good shot from them to get Loki's. And now we see Team Crayon here occupying this uh, eastern edge of the circle. They right now have Awful Squad here uh, currently on the, the, just outside the zone. But the zone is moving in quickly here. And uh, they don't have a lot of space to actually make this happen without taking a number of uh, casualties, I would feel. And the nades are coming out here, but it is uh, a little bit too far. That rock is also quite big here. And Don Pablo will be going down here for Awful Squad as uh, they are getting picked apart here. Just trying to move inside this area, but looks like uh, Supak Choi and Genk's going to try and move a bit further north to find another entryway inside the circle. But now looking at the shelter area, now we still have uh, FJG here inside the, the section here, but currently Give Esports is hanging around on the outside. They should be able to catch whoever it is who might be inside the, the, the shelter, actually trying to withdraw at the moment. But we already see that uh, two of the players for... Uh, FJG are just trying to move out already. Team Jesus is still inside the shelter for the time being here and could be a little bit of an awkward situation. So uh, now looking at how things are going to move, we already see that the exposure now from FJG here after they have vacated the the shelter here is going to be a little bit out of their favor, but looks like Papa Zaya going to get caught out there after he was hiding in that uh, little shack area for the time being and uh, looks like that's going to be it for Red Sea. But now Gif Esports really raining down um, pain from the high ground. But looks like Awful Squad won't, wasn't able to get inside the circle after they face a bit too much pressure from Team Crayon. And now the circle is on the move. Uh, or no, on the move soon. So yeah, circle looks as though that Rain Zera and the one other teammate from uh, the Zook Nightmare team will be in good position. But Bamcop and Jenks here, all the way on the edge here, they might just uh, consolidate into Jenks' position and just try and gatekeep all these teams from getting in. The only thing is that they run the risk here that there are a, a couple of teams in this in this area, but looks like um, they might have their work being done for them as one esports here able to knock down uh, Best Get Wrecked here for 101 error. So 101 error going to try and lick their wounds for 10 seconds that they have left here, but... That might be not be enough time for them to 
actually get inside and uh, we see that uh, the rest of GIF Esports continues to give those nice little gifts to uh, this FJG squad here as they're trying to withdraw from the shelter area as uh, now we see that the two members from uh, Team Cracker here trying to advance on this position and looks like uh, Fever going down here and Aplux is going to try and catch out the 101 error players here after he's advancing onto this position he tries to throw up the hopeful nade here trying to catch out some of the players here but it looks like Razy GG here getting caught out by the blue zone at the wrong time there and best get wrecked gonna rain some fire down onto Aplux here and it looks like casual elite is also going to do his thing and looks like uh they're going to combine to take combine together with one esports and take out the rest of uh team quacker now rixis and the rest of uh gif esports here going to try and uh fend off uh team jesus but team jesus to the rescue here as uh we already see uh Parapai going down here Felipe is going to almost get down Rixis here as the nade comes in but Kax is taking fire from Mr. Pa on the high ground and Dara J-Bike is going to get that knock and looks like Patek Felipe here in a little bit of a spot of bother here after he has to fight that high ground uh, battle there which he really did want but looks like GIF Esports is going to be finished off by a third party here as we get Team Crayon from the eastern high ground just raining down onto these other teams so looks like Team Crayon really playing the edge of the circle well here so far in this game. Now, looking at uh, how things are going to be developing here, we already see that uh, 101 error here only has the one player left alive here. But it looks like Best Guy Wreck going to try and get that kill there. But he actually gets nailed by uh, M MMP here as uh, he tries to prolong the inevitable and just try and go out with a bang. Aaron is still going to be alive as the last team member for uh, FJG for the time being here and now we will see that uh, Zook Nightmare is still going for that 2-2 split and currently ooh Jang's getting shot at long range by FFG here and Bamcop's gonna have to try and uh, help him up here but yep his helmet's gonna be gone uh, but at least they do have that compound and it looks like the next circle is gonna shift all the way up to the north side here so it's still gonna very much favor this compound occupied by Rain Zera uh, so Looks like Zook Nightmare just going to try and hang out there. But Big Boo Blurred has uh, them in his sights here as he tries to get a, a meaningful knock here. Once they get the knock, that is going to be the go time for these guys to start pushing the compound. But they are taking the wise approach here. They're not picking too much. They do need to have that strong compound, so they're not going to waste this opportunity. And Bamcop and Jangs will come over to go and assist here as they try and consolidate their position but looks like FFG here going to be driving straight towards Team Crayon here and looks like uh, Jinkalewa here getting picked off here as uh, he had no clue that uh, Team Crayon were there so MX518 going to try and do the best he can but Insane Floyd going to knock some shots his way and MX518 going to be in a bad position here facing downhill and he's also got all the, the teams from the other side but Insane Floyd with a nice nade finishes him off and uh, not much damage done to uh, Team Crayon here as they move onwards and upwards. But now looking at how things are going, the tower is now occupied by Jenks and Bamcop as they look to try and uh, get this 2-2 uh, split re-going here as they do have a lot more field of vision at the moment. But now Team Crayon is trying to move in. Big Boo Blur taking a lot of hits there and it looks like uh, Jenks and Bamcock going to combine there to take him out. So now Team Crayon, just like that, have lost one of their players. It was unoccupied for a second there, but the moment that they actually had to wait for the fight to develop there uh, with the advancement from FFG, they gave... Uh Zook Nightmare here, enough time to actually get in. DJ Low, the last player for MSK, still alive here as he now moves towards that southern compound. Uh, still inside the zone here for the time being, but we only have four teams left here. Nine players left alive, and uh, now looking at how things are moving, Jangs is going to be trying to uh, put some further fire onto the rest of the, the team members. And... Um, Looks like uh, they are going to just try and uh, prevent themselves from getting shot in the feet here after uh, this high ground is still going to offer some level of uh, protection for and, and uh, decent advantage for Team Crayon. So I think Zook Nightmare just have to be a bit wary that they don't peek too much as the, that could lead to them actually getting into a position that will lead to a, a push here coming out from the rest of 
uh, Team Crayon because currently it's three against two effectively with that tower because Rain Zera and Arrow are not going to be able to really aim too well up onto the high ground. They do have their sights set on DJ Lol though, so that's going to be something that is going to occupy their attention as uh, Bamcop taking quite a few hits now. So Team Crayon just going to continue to lay that squeeze down and uh, Jenks and Bamcop just going to have to try and do the best that they can for the time being while they wait for the next circle to reveal itself. MMP right on the edge there and it looks like um, they're going to have to combine and actually move towards uh, Rain Zera at the moment. Bamcop and Jenks going to have to try and disengage if they can. Otherwise, they might just try and hold this position. If they can actually finish off or trade out with the rest of Team Crayon, Rain Zera and Ipple here will be in a great position for the finishing off the rest of the game. As uh, currently, it is still that going to be that three-man squad of Team Crayon, which is going to offer the most challenge to um, Zook Nightmare's win here. As uh, now we will be seeing the further advancement, trying to get good angles here. They do have a nice spread here to try and uh, land some shots at the moment. And uh, looks like Jenks is going to disengage here, and that might be the go sign for the rest of uh, Team Crayon here. But I think they took a hit there. Insane Floyd going to have to heal up a little bit. Bamcop just going to try and hold the fort for as long as possible, while the remaining three members from Team Crayon are just going to try and hold the fort there. DJ Lol is going to have to move as well, but Bamcop is still very much uh, in that tower structure and with the smoke deployed there it's not going to be easy to push him but Bamcop only has one avenue to try and shoot out of effectively here insane floyd going to move all the way here as he tries to move in here and it looks as though Bamcop taking a lot of hits here and it looks like that's going to be it for him insane floyd able to get inside the the zone for the time being and uh, now it's going to be the the remaining three members from uh zook nightmare here who are gonna try and hold this what singular compound that's left here mmp actually getting picked off by assy rum there so a nice spot there all the way out on the northern side but now insane floyd takes a hit himself um or insane floyd takes a hit as now assy rum will be getting the, the res off here but there is going to still be that push going all the way to that building. DJ Lo has moved all the way over here. And uh, currently he's still going to be okay for the time being. He does have this uh, little hut here, which is uh, currently inside the zone. So it's going to be a little bit, bit of an awkward situation now to see how the rest of um, the three members here from uh zook nightmare are going to try to hold off this position currently errol is going to be able to catch out asirum as he was trying to bug out there but the smoke was uh coming out there and should be okay but they are going to be on the very edge of the circle insane floyd getting caught there he's taking damage from the blue he's going to try and run instead here but a, a little bit of a mishap there and he's going to get caught out on the move there and now looking as uh, how things are developing here the rest of the members from um, team uh, Zook Nightmare are going to actually be able to control the situation. There's only one tree available to them. There is going to be another smoke coming out from live action, but I'm not sure what they can do here. Uh, as soon as uh, they get into nade range, it's going to be incredibly difficult as Rain Zera here raining down fire onto that tree. There is just not enough space there, and Errol is going to push up even further here. And Insane Floyd is going to be under a lot of pressure here as uh, he actually decides to come up here and uh, now he has to pull off the heal, but that's not going to be enough there as there's way too much of a crossfire going on from Zook Nightmare. So that's going to be it for round number three, guys, as we see that uh, Zook Nightmare able to take 15 kills from that game. So Rain Zera hauling in the highest number of kills there with five kills to their name. So they had a very effective 2-2 split going on in the mid game in the center of the circle and then they actually rotated around with Jenks and Bamcop actually moving towards the tower and able to get a, a pretty good 2-2 uh, two -two there going and really slamming the brakes on the advancement from uh, Team Crayon. But Team Crayon did well on the eastern side there but wasn't able to break in easily uh, towards that structure and unfortunately there weren't any other uh, strong teams uh, in terms of the numbers uh, towards the end. So it wasn't like DJ Low from MSK was going to drag all the attention from the rest of Zook Nightmare. So that was always going to be difficult. But DJ Low, after MSK faced a lot of that tragedy there and Severny losing three of their players, um, fighting two different teams there, um, he did actually manage to stay alive right until the third place there. But that compound that he was in was not going to be inside the zone. And it was always going to be an uphill battle for him. But in fourth place, we do get ONE Esports here after they were able to stay alive in this top or the northern section here for quite some time there. But unfortunately, they couldn't 
do too much in that situation. And also in the northern section, it was always going to be uh, FGJ, FJG here, who was able to survive for quite some time there as they were... Uh, hanging out in the shelter for much of the period there, but they were all getting starting to pick off one by one after they were trying to like get out of that shelter area. So uh, that is going to be it for round number three, guys. So uh, you're watching the Battle of Arena Scrims. When we return, we'll bring you the last and uh, the fourth round, uh, which will be the last round for this evening here. So uh, do stay tuned. <laughs>